What's up guys, this is your boy DJ Tony T with another video on how to customize your DJ board to make it do what you want. So that was just a little demonstration of something I learned in DJ Kaka's Zook DJ course. Uh, shameless plug, I'll put a link down below as soon as uh, the next course comes up uh, so you guys can perhaps sign up and take it. But I uh, just wanted to show a little bit of technique when it comes to using samplers to transition between two songs that uh, technique like i said come from the course came from the course uh and i've got it programmed into my board to where i can manipulate everything without touching the mouse uh except to start an individual uh an individual sampler so the way i do that's actually pretty damn simple you wouldn't believe it's pretty dang simple so you come in here to mapping um the starting and stopping the filter on the sampler is actually done with uh the shift vinyl key i just programmed this today uh it just turns on and off the sampler effect whatever you have selected here um and as far as the two dials these two dials here that affect the the filter the the effect sorry for the sampler, they are done with shift EQs. So I have the low and mid affecting the two sliders. Now that's can get confusing, but here's how I get around that. So if you notice, when I change these things, look at the instrumental, see it places the shadow uh, over where the actual dial on my board is but of course the saw you have to catch up to the software and then it grabs it and pulls it so the way i get around that the shift eq works on both sides right it doesn't have a left or a right uh capability to it and so whatever song i'm playing i do the opposite side for my dials for the filter on the sampler and then when I go to the next song, the mind reader, I went back over here to the right side and did it, right? So I just used the opposite side of whatever is playing on the master going out. Uh, pretty simple stuff, actually, once you get used to it. Of course, there's the volume. The shift slider does the volume for, the, uh, for that. So... Uh, pretty easy stuff, something I learned in class, thought it would be useful uh, in the future, perhaps, uh, man, I miss having my four deck board, this is only a two deck DJ board, but uh, it's a little bit more difficult to manipulate, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad, so I uh, hope that helps, once again, this is DJ Tony T with another uh uh, video on some tips on how to program your DJ board to make it do what you want. Have a good one. See ya.